Well, good morning. content creator designer which means I am an artist interior designer and I'm gonna take you along for me for me with me on a day in the life um, this is a regular work day it's a Thursday I feel like Thursday is my favorite day of the week um, you have the weekend coming but you still have time to work get your creative ideas out so I'm gonna be making TikToks and <laughs> my dog is crying I don't know why um, I'm going to be making TikToks and just showing you my schedule and what I'm going to be doing today. So come along with me. Why are you crying? Ciao. Why are you crying? This is from yesterday. Um, what I'm going to do now is carry anything over that I haven't done yet. And I'm going to make my to-do list for the day. upload some video and I'll come back when I'm ready to start filming TikTok. So this afternoon has been such a wash. I did get some editing done, but then so many issues came up. Like my entire storage, uh, I have like a hundred thousand photos and videos. And by like, I mean I do. And by like, I mean I do. But I've maxed out my iCloud storage and I've also got a hard drive but my issue is that I don't know what's on iCloud versus what's on the hard drive. The hard drive wasn't accepting any images from my computer. So basically every device is completely maxed out and I'm having so much trouble editing, filming, transferring, and I just need like a professional to come in and help me. And it's all important stuff that I have to get done, but it's when I can't be creative, I feel like I get into this like horrible mood and doing the administrative stuff is something that people don't talk about enough because it's so much work and it's very draining when you're creative to be doing admin work and then be like, oh shit, like I haven't done anything that I wanted to do today, but now I'm completely drained and I don't have creative energy anymore. So I took a little reset break. I sipped some coffee and I watched some YouTube videos from vloggers that I like. I watched Maggie McDonald's channel and just kind of like took a rest because I needed a little reset between doing the admin work and getting back to creativity. So what I'm doing now is taking some Instagram story photos of products around my house, like my pillows and putting them up um, and reminding my followers of what's for sale, showing some of my art prints. And so I did that and now I'm gonna start hopefully on my hallway TikTok. I'm like mustering up the creative energy to start that project because it's going to be a big one. I'll show you where we're at right so, now. So here we are in my apartment and this is my hallway. I haven't shown all of this on TikTok yet. I did a brand deal with Benjamin Moore where I did the blue paint. So I showed that, I showed the tiling happening. Um, I didn't do a wallpaper video because it was such a process to install that it actually was just so frustrating for me. I couldn't even go back through the footage because I was getting so mad. So I just didn't do a video on it. The tiles are peel and stick. I did that by myself. So easy. I wanted to kind of isolate this area and make it feel like its own space versus the rest of my apartment. And I think it definitely feels like its own little punchy area. I haven't shown this on TikTok yet, but I we assembled this. Hannah assembled this yesterday. I got a new cushion for the top. It's way too big, but it's a lot better than the gray one that was on it before. 
Um, I have my pillows there because I was just posting about these because I think they're perfect for spring, so I put those on my story. And then I just threw this little side table there last night to see what it looked like, and I just wanted some flowers in here. So what I have to do, obviously this needs to be covered. I need to officially hang these peg hooks, and I have another one to run along the wall. But um, <laughs> I need to screw those in, and then I have a lot of stuff to hang. I have organizing baskets that are going to hang on the peg rail that will have storage for like scarves and hats, things like that. My little tarot card prints here that I love. We have the star, the lovers, the moon with the pugs, and the world, and these are all drawn by me and I just felt like tarot decks there was no like aesthetic artwork of it but I love tarot cards I'm very spiritual and I wanted to create something that felt like me and wasn't that kind of like dark like gothic aesthetic and I think that these oh I love them so much so I'm gonna try to get started on this project and we'll see where I end up. Taking a little break to wrap Hannah's birthday present. It's her birthday tomorrow and I'm so excited to show you what I got her. This is Hannah's present. And before, if you feel like you're gonna have an opinion or like be mad about this, that's fine, but just stop watching. Like I'll, I'll say that it's kind of a luxury gift. I'm really excited to give it to her. You can obviously probably guess what it is by now. It's inside. I got her a click clack, um, which I've heard is someone called Chugi, and I just completely disagree. I think it's very classic and I think it's a nice like luxury thing. But my opinion of like the best gift is it's something that you know the person will love, but it's something you know that they're not gonna buy themselves. <laughs> flowers on them. They're very dark, so you do need to use a white marker. Oh, I love this one. I'm gonna use this. I just got back inside. I lost something I needed for a project, and I like lost my mind over it. I looked for about an hour, wasted so much time. Still can't find it. It's fine, but I got downstairs. I took a break because I needed a mental health break. And I got downstairs and I had these beautiful flowers and they're from Jill Malone. So these are the beautiful flowers that they sent. Such a good arrangement. And then here is the gift bag. I'm so excited. What did a card they did? Oh, that's so sweet. Dear Claire, thank you so much for creating beautiful content for our blog. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my God, it almost looks hand painted. Can't wait to put these on my perfume shop. So we have Melancholy Thistle, Highland Heather, wild achillea and mallow on the moor it all sounds very scottish it probably is inspired by scotland i don't know love oh thank you thank you thank you thank you i'm a lucky girl when you are sad crispy rice when you are distressed crispy rice when you forgot to eat all day and you are in the middle of a pegboard project and you realize you cannot go on without eating crispy rice i am gonna eat my dinner and then i am gonna keep filming this tiktok it's about seven o'clock and I want to finish it, so we'll see how far I so, get. So here is the project I was working on today, installing these pegboards that kind of blended with the wallpaper. It took so much longer than I thought, but here's how the hallway is coming. Much more to happen tomorrow. I am exhausted. So I feel like all I do so far on this channel is just like pour myself beverages, but I'm having this iced tea again. And doing the rose ice cubes. These are with the lemon again. Yum, yum, yum. This definitely made me tired last night. I don't know if it was that or the new little um, drug thing, the natural drug thing that I got at CVS, but something was working because I really fell asleep hard. So hoping this works again tonight. Now I'm going to draw myself a little bath. My happy place, my shower, absolutely my favorite place in the world to be. <laughs> so I'm gonna wind down. That's it for the night. I'm gonna stop filming so I can actually focus on whew, getting relaxed and trying to sleep. It's 10 p.m. 
by the way. I cannot wait to get clean. Night! I love you. I'll see you in my next video. I'm really enjoying making these. Subscribe to motivate me to keep doing them.